So let's set accidents aside just for now. What are the items that you are going to need to keep your yo-yo running smoothly? Well, you need the following. First one is pliers. These come in really handy when trying to get bearings out of yo-yos. Also, they can also make it easier to um, grab things out of like jars with lighter fluid and things like that when you're cleaning your bearings. So, pliers, awesome tool to have for you. Second, lubricant. Um, I use Yo-Yo Jam Lube and one of these things will last you for ages and ages. Bearings don't require that much, they require some, so just put in a pin drop, just a tiny little bit into a bearing to keep it running smoothly. Next, to keep, to maintain your response, keep some um, RT, high temp red RTV silicone. Um, you don't really need this brand, this is a, kind of a car silicone or a car sealant, but just try to keep some flowable silicone for when your um, response system wears out. You can also buy pads, but that's a little bit expensive, I prefer these. You just get the nozzle, um, swirl around and take it out with a spoon and then it's all good. So this is a really important tool to have. Next, string cutter. This can be used to cut the strings and excess stuff off. Um, really important if you're a shorter person like me who needs to cut the strings or you just like playing with short string. This is really important. Next are pins. These can help de-shield bearings and um, help you to apply the lubricant onto your bearings. So, very simple thing, but also very useful, pins. Something to clean your bearings with. I use lighter fluid, you can, all use, you can also use paint stripper and things like that. Um, yep, so just something to clean your bearings with and just use this to um, ensure that they are running smoothly without any um, gunk inside them slowing them down. Next, a glass jar to put your lighter fluid inside. Um, the lighter fluid can't eat through the glass, so that's why I use glass. And um, yeah, just ensure that when you shake it up, you don't shake it up too much because it can actually leak through the sides. Next item is pretty obvious, and that's string. Um, you do not want to play with a really frayed string. That would increase the chances of it snapping and wrecking your yo-yo. So top up your string every week or so. That's that's how I do it. Finally, um, Allen keys. These can help get out our uh, axles in the yo-yos if they're in the right side. Pretty much with all this stuff, if your yo-yo is not, you know, damaged beyond repair, you should be able to keep it running smoothly. Um, this is pretty much all you will need for kind of yo-yo maintenance and if you want to see some maintenance videos, I'll link some below. So that's awesome. So if you like this video, um, like, comment and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys soon.